Joining us now to talk about what this new data uh, could, <laughs> could be. If you're going to give him credit for one, you got to give him credit for the other, for the Fed. Former uh, Federal Reserve Governor uh, Rick Mishkin. He's a Columbia University economics professor, CNBC contributor. My whole world uh, is, is now changing again, Rick, and I don't like when things change. Here's, here's where I thought we were. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, the, the economy was moderating a little bit. The Fed had done its job. Inflation was coming down. They had orchestrated a soft landing. As a result, we were going to be able to cut uh, in 2024, maybe as many as six times, because everything was sort of just right. Now, I don't know what to think. Inflation's not coming down. The economy with unemployment and, and the labor market and GDP, much better, much hotter than people thought. Why would we cut it all at this point? It seems like the Fed is not finished, perhaps. And, and, and that's what worries me, that we could stay too tight and eventually cause that recession that I thought was off the table. So, look, I, I think people can put too much in terms of the one month's numbers. The CPI number is a little bit higher, uh, but there's a lot of just random fluctuation uh, in it. Uh, so my view has been, and still is, that the Fed actually should not cut uh, rates uh, quickly, that uh, that actually they've been doing really well, extraordinarily well, better than I ever expected, uh, 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 basically because they did this very smart policy of turning it around very quickly and moving the uh, the Fed super tanker that moves usually slowly move like a motorboat. So so uh, uh, we see actually the glide path has been good uh, with inflation coming down. Uh, the economy has been somewhat strong. Uh, but in this case, the Fed basically always has to err on the on the on the side of, of being tighter rather than being easier, and that's because when you actually have made a mistake and inflation has gotten too high, you've got to be really concerned about your credibility. And in fact, part of the success of what the Fed has done is they lost credibility by being too low for too long and making serious mistakes, which I've been very critical of. Uh, but then turn it on very quickly, and actually, inflation expectations stabilized. And we see actually uh, the, the glide path actually has been pretty good. So I think that, that the issue here is that the Fed really has to just keep its course, keep rates high for long enough. They have to err on the side of, of uh, being a little bit tighter rather than being too easy. The last thing they want to do is start cutting rates and, in fact, not do the job and then have to raise rates further. Then we do get a recession. And right. that's really a problem. So, well, so that, I think they have that... to just be very cautious. So, you know, I just would say that, that – that, uh, I was agreeing with everything you said until you said, uh, well, you know, my old story was that they should be cutting rates a lot in the, in the, in the next year. And, and that I was very skeptical about. What we, watching the no, I don't want to. But watching the the stock markets uh, reckoning with rates not coming uh, down as quickly. We've seen that for the past month, month and a half. You know, we no longer thought it seemed so likely near term that we'd get you know, a rate cut or as many rate cuts. But the market held up pretty well. But that's when the market was still thinking, we've got this nice economy but with low inflation, with this inflation. This is the first data point where that thesis, and you say maybe, it, maybe it's a, a, a one-off, but now suddenly maybe players are realizing, wait a second, when you have a, a hot economy, you're not going to have inflation. That's too good to be true. It's not Goldilocks. Well, I, I think also people just were too optimistic about the Fed cutting. I just think that that was wrong. And that's what has been my view for quite a while. Uh, the well, Fed has made it very clear that uh, inflation is their, their number one objective and that they are now getting it right and that they actually had said continually, well, we would risk a recession. Well, the numbers came in much better. We've had a bad number here, uh, but, uh, but it really doesn't change the Fed's game plan. Uh, the Fed very, was very unlikely to cut at the next meeting. Uh, and I think now that's even uh, more true than, than it was uh, before. I think they're going to be very cautious on lowering rates. Uh, and I think that's the right thing to do. So this is not out of their game plan. I think the market's just got ahead of the Fed.